The toxic world of Twitter. Animals can consent. You think animals can give consent? Bro, I haven't heard this fucking sound in forever, man. They can indeed. Twitter is the most miserable No, place they cannot! It'd be more fun to live in an active war zone than it would be to spend an hour on Twitter. At the end of that all is of true, this, though? when you're attracted to kids, the next phase from thoughts goes into performing the actual crime. It's a community of people that just love to hate, and that's all they like to do. That is true. Twitter hates a lot. Noah. It's no oh, wow. secret that Twitter is one of the most toxic platforms on the internet. Arguments, fights, cancellations, they happen every single day. But why? Why does this platform have such a big problem with toxicity? Well, what if I told you that Twitter has always been toxic since the very beginning because Twitter was built on betrayal? This is Noah Glenn. Hey, yo. We're getting a Twitter history lesson. Let's go. A guy go. you probably have never heard of, and that's a shame because he started... Yeah. I don't know Twitter. who he is. Way back oh, in 2005, okay. Noah ran a podcasting platform called Odeo with his friend Evan Williams as CEO. The Damn. As a veteran of the US Marines, I can confirm being in an active war zone is more fun than Twitter, Satch. Oh my lord. But he was on the verge of shutting down, so they needed an idea. Noah spent a night out drinking with an employee, Jack Dorsey, and that's when they had the idea. Twitter. Twitter is a social texting service based on the contents of your mind. It works with your cell phone and short code 40404, and it then goes to each and every one of your many, many actionable friends. People didn't like the idea at first, but Noah pushed on. Soon, Twitter started to gain a huge user base, and Noah even considered breaking away from Odeo and making Twitter his own business. Wait, isn't this off of the Facebook movie? Where isn't isn't this clip off of the Facebook movie? If I'm not mistaken, like how Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. I think I think so. Noah yeah. even considered yeah. breaking Let's go! away from Odeo Memory! and making Twitter his own business. And then, without warning, Evan made Noah's life flip upside down. Evan pulled Noah to one side and told him he was fired. Everything Great movie, he though, yeah. From Odeo to Twitter was pulled out from underneath him. Sad. Noah spent a night out with Jack Dorsey and told him what had happened. Jack comforted him, but just a few days later, Jack became the CEO of Twitter. Jack betrayed Noah. Before hey, Noah was fired, Jack met with Evan in secret and Jack himself demanded that Noah be fired. He even threatened to what? leave the company if Noah was not removed. Noah described the betrayal in his own This is his villain, villain arc, man. This is Noah's villain arc. Hold up. Words. I felt betrayed. What does follow it do? It just shows how like how long you've been Prayed followed. by my friends, by my company, by these people around me I trusted and that I had worked hard to create something with. And I was a little shell shocked. I was like, wait, what's the value in building these relationships if this is the result? Jack's reason for this was never explained, so we can only assume that he gave in to life's biggest evils, money and power. He was second in command in Twitter, money. so with Noah gone, he'd have everything, and Noah would have nothing. Noah's story tells us so much about Twitter. The Twitter has had toxic roots from day one. And as you'll see in this next chapter, Twitter's users are no different. Space buns. It's almost become a meme at this point, just how awful Twitter is. Arguments happen Space over buns. anything and everything, and sometimes people just spark them for no good reason. This is a crazy example. In November of 2020, a Twitter user posted a picture from Animal their game, Crossing. Animal Crossing. In I is this gonna be about the... Okay, this could either be Anka or the male cat, that names I've forgotten. This is one or the other. This is going one way or the other. This game focuses on positivity, friendship, and community. This image somehow sparked madness on Twitter. And it's because oh, of the hairstyle. Oh. oh, 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 never mind. I know this one. I know this one. This is because she's not allowed to wear them because only black people have, have this kind of hair. This user was bombarded with angry replies and even threatening ones. Ma'am, they're not space buns, they're afro puffs, and they're meant for black girls. Us white girls cannot use them, so I advise you to change them before it- Us white girls cannot use them! Who are you?
Who are you to demand this? Holy shit! Literally us white girls! Okay! It's too late. Another user replied with, too late? Until what happens? And they replied, till others cancel her and put her name out there. People are threatening to expose this Raymond, person's personal that's the information one over of. some pixels on a screen. Again, in Jesus August of 2022, Christ. a YouTuber by the name of Hero High posted a video about some- Oh, I love his stuff. We watch his stuff, man. And I watch his videos all the time. The story goes that a group of adult Twitter users gathered together to pressure a child because of a tweet she's made. The screenshots show details of how they plan to ruin her life. Are we really about to blank this kid? Yes, yes, we are. I really hope we do don't have to release the blank. The most I want to do is scare her with her address. But if that doesn't work, like I'm really hoping her parents get into gear when we tell them. These people have nothing better going on in their own life, man. Those are the people that are just terminally online, that never touch grass, that live in their mom's basement, and got nothing else going for them. Their justification for this was that they claimed the child had posted problematic media. These problematic. Group of adults chose to sacrifice. Straight to the psych ward. No data. So if her parents won't do anything, she needs to. Because if H is 13 and is this messed up in the head. It's a 13 year old! Bro, this is a 13 year old they're harassing! Sacrifice a child's safety over something she said over the internet. So why this twist? Bruh, bruh, bruh! The end of that! I'm really literally to punch her in the throat. I want to step shit to cool off so bad. Bro! Despicable, disgusting, human tr garbage. So why does Twitter's platform continue to stay toxic? The Unhinged, rumor. yeah. Before we continue, I just want to say I can't thank you Fortune guys. like behavior, you guys yeah. Got this awesome sponsorship. When I was in school, I sucked at math. I always had to work three times harder than the kid next to me who didn't even study at all, and yet got hatred for the sake of hatred. Yeah, where's the fortune? I by digging my face in Fair. Textbooks. I needed to learn by doing, and that's where Brilliant comes in. Brilliant is a proven way. Oh yeah, just scare someone by doxing. How many stalkers does it need until they get it? It's not a harmless prank. <laughs> It's, yeah, just just get them swatted, right? Swat the 13-year-old, man. To learn math, science, and computer science in an interactive way. Brilliant has thousands of lessons with exclusive new content added every single month. So there's this concept that I live by. It's called the compound effect, which means that small, consistent habits over time will lead to massive results. If you spend time learning on Brilliant for just 30 minutes right, a day, it'll train them. your brain to become a better thinker and problem solver and help you achieve whatever you set your mind to. For me, that was YouTube. If you want to learn specific skills like computer science, there are courses from beginners to experts. I took the writing algebra course. Why? Because in school, I had a hard time with it. But with Brilliant, I was honestly surprised at how much easier it was to learn because it was interactive. To get started for All free, right. visit brilliant.org slash visual venture or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you guys will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Honestly, if I just used Brilliant when I was in school, it would have got me through those terrible years. I'm telling you guys this right now so you don't make the same mistake I did. Click the link to get started today. And thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. In an article posted on It Geared, the author Richard Herbert lists some of the key reasons why Twitter is so toxic. One of these reasons is the spread of false information. Richard writes that fake news spreads at about a 70% higher rate than accurate information. And people because seem it's more interesting. Because it's more interesting and people are more drama driven. That's why. Horrible being actual criminal behavior type of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch him, but cancer is only dogs is horrible people. They are cringe and a crap hole, but they have those limits. Horrible being actual criminal behavior type. Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Fair enough, yeah. Then this is actually legitimately worse than fortune. Want more to false information because it's designed to upset people. Twitter is a hotspot for false information because the platform allows it to be shared by thousands of people within a matter of minutes, including the strangest story I've ever heard. Welcome to Bodegraven Rewitched. 
a town okay. in the Western Netherlands. It's quiet, peaceful, oh, and pretty. The Netherlands. But then the town was attacked online. In 2020, a man Why? by the name of Juist Nivel started to spread rumors about the town's history. He claimed that in the 80s, the town was haunted by a cult that kidnapped children for their disgusting ceremony. What the? F what the? What the? F Why would you spread a rumor like this? What? The stories were false, but that didn't matter. Twitter was flooded with people who genuinely believed it, so they shared the story over and over. Just gave the names of several Bodegraven residents who he claimed were part of the cult, and people harassed those residents without Oh mercy. my god! Oh my god! That was the video, not you guys. We are only a small glimpse away from selling black people have to sit in the back of the bus again as their safe space. Cultural oh appropriation is so disgusting, because oh this God. hairstyle only for black, this clothing is only for that culture, this is the wet dream of every extreme alt-right, dividing yeah. what you can't do or do by skin color or culture again. Seen a black guy with lederhose at one of our festivals and I loved it. What is wrong with loving it when cultures mix and share? Literally, like, instead of celebrating and enjoying the cultures together, these people are dividing, like, dividing even further by saying, no, only they can do this, and only them can do this, and only these people are allowed to do this. Like, it's, it's dividing instead of celebrating cultures. Cultures are meant to be shared and celebrated, not gay kept and hidden. Yeah. And the people, how do cultures die? Let's spread. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. And also, the people of those cultures actually love it when other people do that shit. Like, we've s we've seen videos of that where... Oh my god. We've seen videos of... Fucking... I don't fucking remember what it was at the time. Oh, People enjoy it when... Their cultures are celebrated. But hey, culture appropriation, everyone. White women are the ones who get offended by this stuff mostly. Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. Mexicans, from what I've heard, love Sp Speedy, Gonzo La Speedy Gonzalez. Such a fun little cartoon. Oh, shit! Damn. Liberal white women. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Good correction, yeah. And deutschen uh, cultures and making them a part of your own is literally how we end racism. Yeah! Wearing sombrero and poncho racist, enjoying Mexican food, completely fine. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I think so, Lord Toad. I think so. I remember when I heard them... I heard them term Latin X for the first time. Yeah, I remember. This was some fucking game company. Wasn't it? Wasn't that related to fucking Spider-Man 2? Oh my god. So stupid. Calls letters and death threats wouldn't stop. Just was forced to remove his fake tweets, but it was too late. The rumors became so real that people were traveling to the town to lay flat. Yeah, 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 no, Terry, that's exactly the one that I was thinking of. That one dude walking with a sombrero and poncho through an American city and everyone was like, no, that's racist. Did the same thing in a Mexican city and Mexican laugh at it and loved it. Yeah, 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 that's exactly the one I was thinking of. Latinx came way earlier than Spider-Man 2. I, I thought it was somehow related. I don't remember exactly. It, it's been a while. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, back to the video. People who genuinely believed it. So they shared the story over and over. Just gave the names of several Bodegraven residents who he claimed were part of the cult. And people so he was just having it out for those, those people, man. Without mercy. Phone calls, he was letters, just having it out for death those threats people. wouldn't stop. Just was forced to remove his fake tweets, but it was too late. The rumors became so real that people were traveling to the town to lay flowers in remembrance, but also leave threatening messages. No fucking way. This is how a rumor spirals out of control chat. Rumors can spiral out of control on an international level. Here's the proof. Here's the proof. People didn't want to believe it. Rumors can spiral out of control on an international level. It is for the relatives of the deceased children. The town became so desperate to stop this hate that they took Twitter to court to have them remove the horrible rumors from the platform. It just goes to show how easily false information spreads on Twitter. But these aren't the only things that make Twitter toxic.
Minecraft Twitter. If you don't know what a stan is, here's a brief explanation. Stan Minecraft Twitter? Oh, oh no. Of stalker and fan. It's when someone's online life revolves around a Wait. Wait, is that what it means? Wait. I didn't. Wait. I thought stans are just obsessive fans. I didn't know stalking was. Uh... Wait, what? public figure or character. They obsess over this person constantly and sometimes even worship their idols. Stalking is an obsession too? That's children. true! Welcome to yeah. Minecraft Twitter. This community is one Trexto. of the most yeah, obsessed yeah, you're right, you're right. on the internet. There's entire pages dedicated to just keeping track of what Minecraft YouTubers are listening to on Spotify at all hours of the day. And while what the they fuck? worship these people so much, they can turn against them too. And that became clear when they went after Tommy Inn, Tommy one of Innes. the biggest Minecraft YouTubers on the platform. In 2021, he was attacked by the Minecraft community for two ridiculous reasons. First, no. Tommy posted the a songs tweet he was making listening a joke to? about another content creator. They included a few... Jay Schlatt moments in this video. Do they not know of his wrongdoings? Do they not know? I'm not happy, Dream. Okay. Jay Schlatt. For those of you who don't know him, Jay Schlatt is a controversial creator within the Minecraft community. You either love him or hate him. This but he's part of the Minecraft community. Stands oh, reacted what? badly to this one tweet from Tommy, taking it so. Stan was popularized when Adam and. Eminem's song Stan was made. Listen to the lyrics and you'll understand who or rather what a Stan is. Don't know if serious or sarcastic. Because I can't recall the lyrics of the fan uh, of the song. Oh boy. So far as creating a hashtag, Tommy Neg, which stands for Tommy what? Negative, in order to spread hate across Twitter. And I just saw loads of people making really. Oh my god, it's this guy! Oh my god, chat! Oh my god, it's the, it's the monkey! <laughs> it's the fucking animal! It's the fucking animal! Oh my god, this guy, he's a literal ape. This guy is a literal ape. Who? <laughs> we watched a video on him. It's the guy who said to his girlfriend on Discord he'll bash his fucking head in. You bash your fucking hat in! <laughs> Wait, I am on Twitch, man. Wait, I'll find the clip for you. Oh, that guy? Oh, that guy? Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, he's British? Yeah. Negative tweets about Tommy and there were like 30,000 of them. Because of this hate, Tommy did a live stream where he asked his audience to educate him about certain world topics. He did this because he wanted to show understanding and respect about the situation. But of course, the stands on Twitter didn't see it that way. The chat was constantly calling him homophobic, questioning why he wasn't more politically active, as if that's his responsibility huh? to be a political activist. It became Oh my god, I swear to god, if people one day are gonna be like, Why isn't she talking about this topic? Oh, she's real quiet now. Why isn't she commenting on this stuff? Oh, what does she think about this? Oh, yeah, of course she wouldn't talk about this topic. I, I, I'm, I'm, oh my fucking god, man. I swear if people are gonna be like that at one point, man. Oh my god. Not everyone has to be a political activist, literally, man. Like, what is this? The only answer is because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> that's a good answer. So bad that Tommy revealed that he was seeking therapy for the bullying he received online, but the comments Jesus just Christ. kept on coming. I don't care if you're feeling overwhelmed. You are privileged and face no type <laughs> of oppression. <laughs> there it is, you have privilege and face no type of oppression. But still continue to victimize yourself. In Make myself smaller so you can, guys can read this. Instead of holding yourself accountable and apologizing, Tommy in it was driven off the platform oh by these God. crazy kids. And the unfortunate part was that Tommy was just 17 at the time. What? Since then, Tommy's making content again and returned to. He wasn't even an adult yet! Chet, he wasn't even an adult yet! Oh my God! 
the whole oppression ABC. Yeah, I literally had the entire dictionary pulled up for that one. But he looks 16. Twitter, but unlike Tommy, there are other Twitter users that actually do horrible things. Strawberry milk. Oh no. I, I remember this name. Fuck, I think I watched videos on this. Imagine how much privilege you've got to have to lecture people like that 24-7, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Wasn't this the person that was fixing art? I'm not entirely sure anymore. The art community on Twitter is actually one of the nicer sides of the platform. Artists come together and showcase their work with be. feedback, advice, and just enjoy Can each be. other's masterpieces. But even in the nicest parts of Twitter, there are bad people. In mid-2020, a Twitter user by the name everywhere. of Strawberry Milk started to get a lot of attention, and it wasn't positive. Strawberry drew incredibly inappropriate content, but the catch? It included children. You heard me right. Oh. She featured kids and sold it to the public for a profit. A literal oh, distribution no. of images. Oh no, I did not see this coming. Excuse? She calls it trauma art. Trauma art is a form of therapeutic treatment when other forms- Okay, as an artist myself, I can talk about trauma art personally from personal experience and venting art. Venting art is absolutely fucking fine to do. Posting it online, however, and profiting off of this is not- <laughs> You see? And honestly, I don't think you need to be an artist to think that way. I think everyone needs to have an outlet somehow, you know? Sure. But profiting off of it... Nuh -uh. ...of therapy aren't enough. It's heavily monitored by a licensed therapist and is an extremely private and personal thing and not something you sell online. Strawberry yeah. also published a webcomic that's supposedly based on the trauma she went through, but there's still no excuse for the contents within it. It's sickening. But Strawberry had even more secrets she was hiding. Not only were some of Strawberry's tweets questionable... <laughs> um... <laughs> uh... <laughs> You can only call trauma art after cutting your ear off and tasting yellow acrylic paint. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I forgot about that part. Okay. <laughs> what did I come back to? <laughs> Yes. But some of the accounts that Strawberry supported were even worse. She frequently liked suspicious, disgusting tweets. Tired. Aging up characters for fan art to make your corn more socially acceptable. Wired. Just drawing the damn characters as they are, not giving a F. Inspired. Aging down characters. Oh my. Bruh. and followed questionable accounts. People defended her vile actions and also labeled her content as trauma art. The YouTuber Miss ZZ made a personal statement about this situation. In that case, hello, I'm a child abuse survivor. Her art is fucking gross and labeling clear chart as trauma art is disgusting. Yeah, In researching 100%. for this video, I couldn't find Agreed. any trace of Strawberry's account on Twitter. Not only was her account banned, but a user took her username to create a hate page dedicated to Strawberry. Hopefully oh, this marks Lamo. the end to Strawberry's insanity, but there- Lamo, you want the username? There are still thousands like Why her she not on know Twitter. the platform? Yeah, it seems like she is though, like... He couldn't find anything of her anymore. Mega links. There's an infinite amount of hashtags all over Twitter. There's one for anything and everything for better or worse. But there's one yeah, hashtag sure. that's been used for awful purposes that Twitter still hasn't acted against. Megalink. Since this video is like a year old, I haven't seen this one at all. I have not seen this one ever, to be honest. Never. And also, hashtags are now being... Um demoted kind of thing where if you use hashtags in your posts they do get less attention
like in the algorithm. Thanks. Mega is a popular cloud storage service. What it does oh, is allow okay. you to store your files and completely ah. encrypt them, meaning that not even Mega can see what you store on there. And despite the platform's good intentions, it's being used by terrible people. People oh. are storing disgusting images and videos oh. on Mega, and once it's stored, they start to trade them on Twitter. They create oh. burner Twitter accounts, which are fake accounts, and use the oh, hashtag no. Megalinks as a way of finding other traders on the platform. So they create oh, these no. accounts to distribute this disgusting garbage and they get banned and nothing happens from it because it's literally just a dummy account. Some of these accounts even specify what they want. Just look at some of the related searches that Twitter recommends connected to Megalinks. It's horrible. What's worse is that this video was done in 2020, but it's still happening today. While writing the script for this video, we were able to find a post that was tweeted just 15 minutes earlier. This is still... A I'm gonna... I'm gonna look this up myself right now if there are still some... Let me... Uh, let me go to Twitter. It's so active. That was a year ago. This video is like a year old. Give me a moment. I will look it up. I will look it up. Uh, bu 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 hashtag mega link. Oh. Couldn't find anything. It's gone. I think it's gone. I think Twitter were uh, put down on it. I think uh, Twitter cranked down on it. Yeah, no, can't find anything. That's good. That's good. Okay, it's gone. Pog. A huge problem on Twitter. These people don't even hide what they're after. And even if Twitter bans their accounts, they'll just make new ones and these twisted trades will carry on. And I just hope Twitter does something soon. Zoo. In our Discord video, Zoo. we scratched the surface of Zoo when we talked about hypnotist Sappho, a notorious member of this community. But this problem is so. Oh, I've been wanting to watch a video about this. Like uh, this, this uh, avatar right here. Uh, Royalty is here. Made a video about that just recently. If you guys want to watch that, we can watch that at one point. I did have it in my watch later list for a while now. In our Discord video, we scratched the surface of Zoo when we talked about hypnotist Sappho, a oh notorious God, Sappho? member of this community. I have no idea who that is. This is so much bigger than you can imagine. Yes, it would be lovely. Oh boy. Of zoos. A zoo is a person who believes they're attracted Zoophile. to animals okay. rather than humans. They endorse actions oh. with animals and genuinely believe oh. that what they're doing is okay. And it started on Twitter. In 2020, oh no. the hashtag Zoo Pride began to appear no. across Twitter. What was a oh, slew of disgusting Allah! tweets from zoos defending their actions in an attempt to normalize it. They even created a flag for themselves in an no! attempt to mimic the LGBT community. Their delusions went as far as believing that animals had the ability to consent. I don't need to tell you how horrible that is, so I'll tell you a story instead. Kiro the Wolf is a content creator on YouTube. For a while, okay. Kiro was a respected figure of the furry community and was an inspiration for men. But then okay. everything changed it was revealed that <laughs> kiro was part but then the fire nation attacked <laughs> sorry of a sadistic zoo chat room that shared pictures videos and advice on how to end the lives of animals what Some of these videos are so bad that I can't even begin to describe them. This is the kind of behavior the zoos on Twitter are trying to defend, and we can't let them get away with it. The troll movement. Preds Jesus are all Christ. over the internet, and there's no avoiding that fact. They'll continue to fulfill their selfish desires no matter how hard we fight back. But what happens when they stop hiding? That's right, zoos aren't the only disgusting community on Twitter. There's one that's even worse. It's full of preds that call themselves MAPS. No! Oh, of course we were getting to MAPS after we've gotten to zoos. Of course we were getting to MAPS. Oh, this shit is so disgusting. You all know what MAPS means? He's probably gonna say it. Ugh. No? Minor attracted persons or person. Yeah. 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 Four. 
attracted person. These advocates, much like the zoos, took to Twitter in 2020 in an attempt to normalize their fantasies. They sank so low as to pretend that a deceased content creator supported their beliefs. Etika, oh! Etika World Network supports map Are right. they for Literally, fucking real? Someone that passed away. Thankfully, are people fought back real? and made it clear that these people are not welcome on Twitter. It caused an outrage money. across social media. Countless YouTube videos were made. These fuckers! They tried to join the LGBT just like the fucking zoos, man. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. But not even the LG LGBT wanted them. Fuck them, man. Wait till she hears about Cupcorn, worst of both worlds. Oh my god. Can we bring back beating your children? <laughs> Can we bring back beating your children and public shaming? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! That and bullying. Yeah, bullying builds character. Can we stop beating other people's kids? <laughs> Bruh! What is cop caught? I mean, a cop is an... is a baby animal. And corn replace the C with P. There you go. Made about it, but one video in particular found its origins. In July of 2020, the YouTube channel Some Ordinary Gamers posted a video about the map situation. In the video, Mudahar discovered a post on 4chan made in 2016 that could have been the origins of this movement. We're creating a new gender to troll SJWs with. Clover what? Gender, a child trapped in a man's body who is attracted to other children. <laughs> this shows that the movement itself is fake. These <laughs> that is so messed up. That is so messed up. Oh my god, that is so messed up. Who is attracted to other children? This shows that the movement itself is fake. These beliefs were created on 4chan to troll people. There is no movement. There is none of this. Okay, you literally started off on a trolling attempt from 4chan. Thankfully, Twitter took a stand against this and updated their terms of service. They stated that they have zero tolerance for this kind of behavior. Thank it sounds promising, you. but the accounts are still out there. The hashtag is still active oh on Twitter God. to this day, and while most of the tweets- I don't- I don't- I was okay with looking up hashtag Megalink because you could find anything under Megalinks, right? But this one? No, I- I- I ain't looking this one up. Someone else can do that one. I don't want this one on, in my history. Fuck off. There are people making fun of and fighting against maps. These monsters are still roaming Twitter. I sued Twitter. The story is Wait, heartbreaking. What? Supposedly, a young teen found themselves in a long distance relationship with another teen. They had been dating for months before the boy sent an inappropriate video of himself. And that's when the mask came off. This boy had Wait, actually been talking to a trafficker the entire time. They blackmailed oh, shit. him into sending more pictures. And if oh, he shit. didn't oh, comply, no. that video would be sent to his friends and family. He was terrified, so he complied. He eventually blocked the trafficker and the terror stopped for some time until 2019. The videos of the boy had surfaced on Twitter. According to the New York Post, the videos were reported- Well, th what the fuck did that headline say? They uh, refused? Reckon, thanks for the follow. The videos of the boy- Refused to remove because it didn't violate policies? I had surfaced on Twitter. According to the New York Post, the videos were reported to Twitter at least three times, and each time Twitter did nothing. Allegedly- this, to be fair, this was before Elon's takeover, wasn't it? Just to be fair, I think Elon did, like, as much as we all hate on Elon, right? But Elon did do some things right with Twitter. Elon did do some things right with Twitter. Twitter sent them this response. We reviewed the content, didn't find a violation in our policy. Twitter looked over the videos and saw no problem with them. The video Jesus Christ. 
supposedly had 167,000 views and 2,200 retweets. How could Twitter That's let insane. this happen? The boy and his parents took legal action against Twitter, even involving the FBI, who demanded that Twitter remove the videos from the platform. Only then did Twitter comply. Twitter initially wow. declined to comment, but eventually decided to say this. Our teams work to stay ahead to ensure we're doing everything we can to remove content and yeah. protect children from harm. Yeah. And I hope they truly mean it. Twitter's yeah. darkest well, side. Doesn't seem like it. We covered some of the worst corners of Twitter in this video. And with these topics, there's been one thing that's consistent. They almost always involve adults. But what happens when it's only teens involved? When researching oh no. for this video, we discovered probably the worst community oh on no. Twitter. We found Twitter's darkest side. I'm scared Chad told me. In September of 2020, oh no. a YouTuber by the name of Brittany Venti posted a video. In the video, she discovered the hashtag NSFWTWT. Of course, you'll find What's inappropriate for work content, Twitter. But that's when Brittany made a stunning discovery. Many of the users using the hashtag were under adult age. These kids post risky pictures and reveal personal information about no way. Themselves. What's worse is that they're searching for other kids to trade pictures of themselves with. It's pretty much a racket. I don't need to tell you just how dangerous something like this is. How prides could easily disguise themselves and get pictures yeah. of these children. And kids being kids, they... But the kids are going to be like, yeah, but I'm smarter like this. I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm too smart. They just don't listen. But they will respond by lashing out on you or being in denial that there's predators out there. These kids have been brainwashed into believing what they're doing is okay. The bottom line is, it's heartbreaking. These kids are confused and trying to find themselves. But Twitter is not a place for it. Because Twitter isn't a playground. It's a film Chat. show. Everything you do you wanna is look up if this one is still up? Because I don't wanna. I hope it's, it's not. It's not only being recorded, but it will be there forever. On Twitter, you have 280 characters to make a point. So make sure you choose your words carefully. Visual Wait, before you go, click this playlist right here to watch more dark internet Jesus documentaries. Christ. Because the algorithm needs to know that you guys watch all of videos. my videos. If you're a talented script writer or video editor and want to join my this team, click the so link good. in the description to apply. I love you all. Peace. These videos are so interesting. Really good videos and really good research. How to improve life, delete Twitter, literally. Yeah, just delete Twitter. Oy, 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 oy. Let me see. Oh, you're checking up on it. No, I'm, I'm lost. My humanity. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cause kids must not be on the internet before they master their menstrual cycle and they're horny. <laughs> yeah, there needs there needs to be restrictions for kids. I mean, me as a kid, I was on the internet. I honestly, I don't think I've done messed up shit when I was growing up on the internet. I was just texting with other people and like writing and like chatting. I didn't do anything, not say for work stuff or anything. Chat my drawings and shit, you know? As a kid, I never liked social media or understood the fascina fascination with it. I was just the odd one. Personally, the internet was very fascinating to me because it opened up the space for me where I actually could find like-minded people because, well, growing up, bro, I was bullied. <laughs> no shocker there. <laughs> no shocker there. And my family was uh, rather in shambles. I only got on the internet to watch DBZ. Hey, I used even not a lot to share my art back in the day. So did I. So did I. Yeah. Oh well. That should be it. Thanks for watching, YouTubes. Thank you. Sorry for the dark topic. Uh, meet you on Twitch, hopefully. <laughs>